Good Wednesday morning. It's December 2nd, 2020 here in Central Florida in the United States. I'm Guy McPherson of GuyMcPherson.com, otherwise known as Nature Bats Last, and I'm providing a science update. The title of this science update is important to keep track of because you can go to GuyMcPherson.com and find the information, including links to the articles I'm going to mention and also figures from those articles. Science update is on the blog GuyMcPherson.com is titled Atlantic Heat Blob Drives Loss of Arctic Ice Microbes Awaken. So I'm presenting two related stories here today. One reported in The Independent, Growing Heat Blob from Atlantic Driving Sea Ice Loss in Arctic Study says. And the study in question is a paper in Nature Climate Change published on November 23rd, 2020. In the Independent article, it is pointed out that the last 14 years have seen the 14 lowest levels of Arctic sea ice in the modern satellite record. The modern satellite record goes back to 1979. The paper in Nature Climate Change is increased ocean heat transport into the Nordic seas and Arctic Ocean over the period 1993 to 2016. And again, we have satellite records going back to 1979. But what this study points out is a remarkable uptick in heat transfer shown by this figure, which you can find at GuyMcPherson.com. You can see this incredibly rapid increase in heat transfer starting in about 1997 and continuing until the early 2000s and then maintaining that high level up until the period when they stopped the measurements. Among the outcomes of this heat transport in the oceans are deep frozen microbes that are waking up. So this article from Scientific American published November 20th, 2020, finds, for example, that some of these microbes release methane, which is a very powerful greenhouse gas. Others, other microbes, on the other hand, in permafrost, consume methane. There are actually microbes that consume the methane, thereby reducing the abundance of that powerful greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. So there's a lot we don't know about what will happen when these deep frozen Arctic microbes wake up and become active. So interesting couple of stories and in my opinion worth your time spending on reading those stories and in particular looking at the very simple graphical outcomes demonstrated in these stories. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully see you in about a week again. Mm -hmm.